It's that time of year in Edinburgh when hundreds of comedians head there for its Fringe Festival. Many of them hoping to walk away with the coveted Funniest Joke Award. Well, this year that's gone to Liverpool comedian Adam Rowe. I got the chance to talk to him a little bit earlier and he told me how surprised he was to win and I let him tell the joke. Very surreal, uh, to the point where I didn't expect it, so I just I thought my agent was lying. <laughs> so he rang me and said, you've won Dave's best joke at the Fringe. And I said, no, I haven't. And it took him five minutes to convince me that I actually had. Uh, and it, it's just a re really weird thing for me to win best joke because I'm not really a jokey type of comedian. I don't do one-liners. I do, like, stories and observations. So to win best joke just seems a little bit odd, but we'll take it. Yeah, OK, I think that we can talk any further until we actually hear the joke. I know it's weird to just to say and to <laughs> just to ask, but, yeah, please, let's hear the joke itself. OK, yeah, I've done this about three billion times today, <laughs> so I'm used to saying it's a silence now. Uh, the joke was, I could never work in the job centre because imagine working somewhere that if you get fired, you've still got to go in the next day. <laughs> That's the joke. So if this is something, the kind of jokes you don't usually tell, how did it come about? Um, it was on stage, actually. So I was hosting a show in Liverpool and I asked the guy, what do you do for a living? And he said, I work in the job centre. And then I said, oh, I could never do that. And he said, why? And then I did the joke for the first time and it got a decent reaction. So I stuck with it and now it's in the show and the rest is history. So how does it all work then? How do you get to... Do you have to nominate yourself? Do you put the joke forward? And then who chooses? Who wins the best joke? No, so a load of uh, panel on the... Lo load of people on the panel for the award, they go and watch as many shows as they can. They nominate about 600 jokes and then the public vote on those jokes. And whoever wins the public vote wins the award. And, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> how did you get into it in the first place then? Uh, I was working in McDonald's and me and a friend of mine decided to just give Stand Up a go because we both loved it. And it's like doing drugs, I'd imagine. I've never done drugs myself, but it's such a massive adrenaline rush immediately from an audience. You can't replicate it with anything else in life. And you get bitten by a bug almost. I never turned my way back. I dropped out of a maths degree and I thought I'm doing comedy as, as much as I can. And it looks like it's paying off, finally. <laughs> Hopefully this joke keeps me out of the job centre for at least a couple of years. <laughs> Adam, what an incredible story. Um, congratulations to you. Thanks so much for speaking to Five News. Thanks very much. Cheers for having us. I really appreciate it. Thank you.